Hi, beautiful. There's one thing that I get requested to do a lot, and it's use Kool-Aid to do hair color. And I don't know what the fascination is with Kool-Aid and hair color. I have no experience with using Kool-Aid as color. I know nothing about it. I don't know how to do it. So I'm here and I'm gonna experiment with some Kool-Aid. If this actually makes some nice color, I'll be so excited, but also like confused. We're gonna do it on Miss Manny Quinn. We're gonna give her a sickening look with a bunch of different colors. And we'll find out if maybe you should be using Kool-Aid to color your hair. Honestly, that sounds like a terrible idea. Let's do it. First thing we have to do, I guess, is watch a tutorial on how to use Kool-Aid to color the hair. I mean, it seems easy enough. You just mix the Kool-Aid, right? And you put it on the head, but we'll see what happens here. Maybe there's some weird concoction I need to make up. I don't know what's gonna happen. So this video is called DIY Kool-Aid Hair Dye Tested. And this is by Carrie Dayton. And we're just gonna learn quickly how this all really works. I don't wanna go into this so blindly that it doesn't work out. Like I want this to work and I want something to happen and I wanna know how to do it properly. So we're gonna learn how, just really, really quickly. I just always use this Tupperware to dye my hair. You're gonna need some conditioner that is white. So a bowl, some cheap conditioner. Got it, let's do it. And then of course you're going to need your- And some Kool-Aid packets. Make sure it's warm and use just enough water. Warm water. I'll put a lot of water in here, but just use enough to like dissolve the Kool-Aid. So I'm- Just enough to dissolve it, got it. Add as much conditioner as you want, I think until you just get to the color that you want. Oh my God, this is so opposite of everything I've ever been taught to do. Um, okay, use food coloring as hair dye, great, okay. Now, if you can see the difference between the two colors, there's a huge difference. This is like way too light. This is the one that didn't show up. Okay, so she basically said that it did nothing to her hair and she ended up mixing up another batch of it and putting less conditioner in it so it's more pigmented. So we're gonna make mine so, so pigmented. We're gonna use actually like four packets. That's three. Four packets per color. I wanna make this like neon and so bright. Okay, so her hair came out like this, but I'm gonna push mine to the next level. We're gonna make this so damn bright and so damn fun. Let me get my supplies and let's get going on this, shall we? So I actually somehow found like every color of Kool-Aid possible and I'm really excited about it. So let me just introduce you to the flavors of today. Okay, so we have the grape flavor. It's purple. We also have, oh, my assistant put these in actually matte matching color bowls to the color they are. So I love that. This is lemon, it is yellow. And then I have cherry, which is obviously red. Then we have our ooh, pink one. This is, uh, it doesn't say. Oh, it says pink lemonade. <laughs> we have pink lemonade, cherry, lemon, and grape. You know what, this is a challenge. Can I make a masterpiece using only Kool-Aid? Is that possible? I don't know. And we also have a cheap conditioner. I chose Pantene. I actually like don't know if this is actually horrible for you, but um, it was cheap. I'm not gonna lie, it smells kind of good. We also have a color bowl. We also have some gloves and just, you know, some water, everything we need to do this. I guess now I just have to decide what color is going where. I'm kind of nervous about this. I'm gonna do purple underneath. I'm gonna do one side of her head pink, the other side red, and then I'm gonna do her bang section yellow. I'm ready to do this <laughs> She's probably dreading this. Sorry but you're gonna get Kool-Aid hair color today, no matter if you like it or not. Let me go grab her and you guys can say hi before she gets absolutely wrecked by Kool-Aid. Actually, hopefully it turns out good. Hi, Miss Manny Quinn. You, you need a makeover, darling. Yes, you do. Look at you, you look terrible. You what? Oh, you let your best friend bleach your hair and she has no experience doing hair. I knew I recognized that color. <laughs> No, it does, it looks really bad. Um, it doesn't go with your skin tone at all, but we're gonna fix that today for you, you little doo -doo -doo. You're so cute though. You're gonna be so pretty by the end of this video when you get your little makeover. So we're gonna begin with a good, solid middle part. Bam! Okay, we have her hair sectioned down the middle. Now we're gonna separate out some front e-girl strands because I don't do anything at this point in my life without doing some e-girl pieces. Just a way of life at this point, you know? Let's see the underneath now. I'm just gonna do, you know, about two inches up from the bottom and then around the little ear. You know, those good things that'll make you hear things. Can't live with them, can't live without them, you know? <laughs> Voila, one side done. Let's do the other one just the same as this, except not really because it's hard matching things.
Imagine if this doesn't work, I'm gonna be so upset. It's gonna work, it's gonna work. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be great. All right, let's start mixing up some colors. So we're gonna do four packets, like I said, cause I want it super bright. Cause we don't do anything half over here. This smells just like grape, who would have known? It smells very grapey. You open the packet and it's just like, whoosh, right in your face. It smells like toxic chemicals and things you should not put in your body or your hair. Oh God, what is in here? Citric acid, it's basically like a Gatorade. It's just like sugar and salt and water and like some artificial flavoring. Healthy, love that kids drink this. My kids would never, okay? Should I taste it? Okay, I will. Heike tastes really good. Oh my God. It's like sour candy. It's a sour candy. No, it really tastes really good. Do you want to taste it? I'm really nervous. Oh my God. It's really good. Why are my hands all blue or black? I don't know, whatever. I'm gonna put my matching gloves on. Let's take our hot water and just pour a little bit into this powder mixture. Okay, so I'm whisking it together. It is dark purple. I mean, it looks like black and that's exactly what I want. She said to just put enough in just so it absorbs into the water, but not too much water. And now we're gonna use our Pantene and put this in it. Okay, um, yep, it looks black. It just feels all sorts of wrong. Ew, it's so clumpy. Oh my God, the Pantene scent mixing with the grape is creating this like extra nasty smell. <laughs> Woo, artificial. Okay, it's actually not clumpy anymore. So I'm really happy about that, but you actually can't see it on camera because it is so dark. It's literally black guys. I'm hoping that it actually turns out purple, but we will see, I guess. Let's, I guess, just put this all over the bottom. I don't know if there's a technique to this, but um, I guess it's just like regular color. You just put it on. Why is it bright green? It's bright green. I did not do anything that you guys didn't see on camera. Do you think it was like a chemical reaction? Okay, well, I guess she's getting green hair. I'm so confused. Oh my God, what if they all turn out green? Why is this happening to me? This happens to nobody, why? Yo, I'd be so pissed if I was actually coloring my hair like this and it just ended up green, like kind of the ugliest green ever. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ms. Manningman, but you're getting green hair all of a sudden. Maybe it'll turn purple, but I doubt that. I don't know, it's looking kind of like aqua now. Actually has a nice consistency though and a decent smell. I really wanted purple, not green though. It'll go cute with the bangs, the yellow bangs, guys. If the yellow actually turns out yellow, which would be nice if that happened. What happened to her hair? I don't know why. What did you do to her hair? Why is it green? How did we didn't it... ask for the green lantern. We asked or... for grape. Like how did it turn out green though? Okay, now that I'm properly suffocating my client, we are gonna continue on and do one of the sides and hopefully it doesn't turn out green. I'm gonna be so upset if this shit goes green on this side too. We're gonna use red because I have backup of red. So if this turns out green, we're gonna have to think of a different way of doing this. It smells like cough syrup. I mean, it looks red. We're gonna put a splash of water. Maybe it was the conditioner. We're gonna try other stuff that is a little bit nicer. And it's still white, so don't come for me, it is white. Okay, this one's red. We might be able to save this. It is green on the back and it's dripping everywhere. Okay, this conditioner mixes a lot better too. The color did not turn out green on this one, but it did turn into cottage cheese. I'm gonna use my cottage cheese mixture and start coloring. Oh God, this is gross. It is red though. Mm -hmm. That has the worst consistency I've ever felt in my life. I feel like this is gonna turn out orange, which I'm okay with. You're gonna look so pretty, Miss Minnie Gwen. Oh, with your green and orange hair. <laughs> Uh, I better prepared myself because I was getting dye all over this shirt. As you can see, I finished this side also while I was gone because this is just such a mess. If any little girls are watching or anybody who's actually not a little girl who wants to do this to their hair, please prepare yourself for an absolute tragic mess and prepare your bathrooms or wherever you're doing this and cover everything because it gets everywhere, it is so liquidy. The bottom is turning kind of blue, which I'm excited about. I don't know why it's doing that, but it's okay. Um, we are gonna do now the pink side and we're gonna use pink lemonade. I'm gonna mix that up and start applying to the other side. I am not gonna lie, I'm quite excited about this. I mean, this is the brightest Kool-Aid hair color moment I've ever seen on the internet. My setting records here, hell yeah I am. That's what my channel is all about, setting records. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> this is so weird because they're all so different. This one just mixed up so nicely. It's so creamy. The other one was so nasty. I mean, I'll take it with this one. Like, I, I need an easy side, okay? I need something to go right for me today. I'm just gonna get this on there. Ignore what I'm about to do to her because it's gonna be messy. It's gonna be nasty, but I just wanna finish this. Food is not supposed to go on your hair. It's not made for that. It's also like citric acid and all that. It's not made for this. So let's just keep that in our mouths and not in our hair. But if you really want to do it, I'm sure you can. I mean, I'm sure it's not gonna make your hair like fall out or anything, but I can't recommend it because I don't know what the side effects of this are. I just find this interesting and I wanted to try this out just to see if it actually did work, but I'm still not saying it's good for you. So don't come after me if you try this. This is pink, man. This is really, really pink. It's also like so gummy. Oh my God, it's getting everywhere. All right, well, the color looks cool. That's actually my favorite color that we've done so far. My floors are gonna forever be sticky. Did I just wipe that off the table? Hell yeah, I did. And that, ladies and gents, is how over it I am right now. It doesn't even comb through. Is this gonna harden like this? Oh God. This is gonna be the ugliest color combination you've ever seen in your life, but it's okay. Let me clean this up really quick and then we're gonna work on the last color. Okay, last and finally, we are gonna use lemonade and hopefully this is a bright yellow. Seeing how artificial all these are, this should be an extremely bright yellow, but who knows, it might just turn out green. And her hair already is a little yellow, so I feel like it'll actually complement it nicely and just add to the effect of the yellowness going on. We're gonna just be really hopeful with this one. This yellow is as yellow as the bowl it's in. It's actually more yellow. Okay, we could be onto something here. <laughs> A little of this. Okay, this is perfect consistency for me. This is great. After three tries, I finally learned how to mix this properly. It's not that easy. Or maybe it is, and I'm just a little slow. Probably that one. Oh, this isn't bright at all, is it? Okay, well, it might tint the hair a little bit. <laughs> well, hopefully this turns out a little bit yellow. Done and done. That's what it looks like. Not much hope here. All right, I'm gonna let this sit for however long this video recommends I sit it for, which is probably like 15, 20 minutes. Um, I'm gonna check on that. When I'm back, this will be all rinsed out and all blow dried, and hopefully we have something interesting to examine. We're gonna see if this comes out good, if it comes out shiny, if her hair feels okay still, and maybe like, let's see if you should do this at home to your own hair. Actually, don't do that. Even if this comes out good, just don't do that. All right, I'll be right back. I'm back with some results for you. While I was, you know, blow drying this Manny Quinn's hair, checking it all out, I was also watching videos of other people doing this. What happened to Miss Manny Quinn wasn't exactly satisfactory. It didn't exactly come out how I wanted it to. I quickly realized that there is kind of no right way of doing this. Everybody does it so differently. I think I found like three or four different application methods for this. And the girl who did the brightest color did it on her kids and used boiling hot water mixed with Kool-Aid and let their hair sit in the boiling hot water for 20 minutes. I wasn't about to melt Miss Manny Quinn, so I did not do that. Also, I would never put hair in boiling hot water. That's so unsafe. You could get a third degree burn. Oh my God, it would be so bad if that water spilled on you or anyone around you. So unsafe. I guess I kind of did the safe method, but I guess the boiling hot water would have probably worked out better. I don't know. I was about to try it all, so I was about to do it again. I ain't got time for that or the patience. Let me show you what happened with the method I used. <gasps> what? the hell happened? Is that what you're asking right now? I think I can hear you. What the hell happened, Brad? I don't know what happened, guys. I'm just as confused as you. This is awful. How is this like green slash blue? Where did the pink go? Can I get some answers in here? This is not it. Oh my God, I don't know. I guess I just didn't do it right. I'm at a loss for words. Here's what she looks like. Let me get her off camera now and we can talk. So clearly it didn't work. The purple turned out green somehow. I couldn't tell you why. Very puzzled about that one. And that's it. That's what you're getting today from me is a completely failed Kool-Aid challenge video. And me telling you that I don't recommend using Kool-Aid to color your hair because it's not made for that. There's so many cheap semi-permanent colors on the market that will do the same thing. And you can just put it on and know that it's gonna work correctly. And it's not as complicated as this. And you don't have to risk getting third degree burn in order to do it. Please don't use Kool-Aid to color your hair. Such a fail. Why did that go? so bad, I'm so upset.
So thank you guys for watching me go through that miserable task of coloring hair with Kool-Aid and it just completely not working. <laughs> Make sure you guys follow me on all my other social medias. They are all right here. Make sure you guys check out Xmondo Hair, my hair care brand at xmondohair.com, link below. Also on Instagram at Xmondo Hair. We have Wave Tech coming back in stock literally in a matter of weeks. So if you guys would like to sign up for email list to get notified when Wave Tech is back in stock, it is linked below on the product page. Make sure you guys text me for updates every time I post a new video. This is my number. Yes, it is my real number. I can really text you back and really have a conversation with you. And I will be choosing a few of you to do just that. If you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you do that right below. Also, you can press the bell icon and the like because that would really be awesome. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Mary. And Mary says, I like my color and it's virgin hair, but what do you think I could do to change it? Maybe a style or a color that's not too crazy for school. Honestly, just a bit bored and I've had the same hair for years. You could add a little pizzazz to your hair for sure. I think you would look stunning with red hair. Do a demi-permanent red color over it, like a coppery red over your already blonde highlighted hair. It'll give you amazing red dimensional hair and it'll just look so good. And if you do demi permanent color, it'll wash out and won't be permanent. So it'll be a good change. And if you don't like it, you can always go back to what you were before. All right, you guys, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.